How's it going, guys? Uh, Four-part message, man. Um, I'm going to give you the two least important tips first. Uh, clean in your intake manifold with BG. You know, you can't be cheap. If you want to clean your intake, on a, on a, you get better performance. And yes, you can't just do one bottle. You got to do like four bottles. It's just like treatment at the hospital, man. They don't just treat your skin with one treatment. You got to go back for numerous treatments. So when you want to clean something, you got to do it numerous times. Number two, um, 45, I started to do something different here, man. I decided, I want to see, being cheap really kind of, you know, you quit being cheap, then you can have good customers and then you can afford other things like this. I bought this dehumidifier. I mean, this humidifier. I hooked it up to the, to the water. And man, you turn that thing on, buddy. This place turns into a freaking tropical oasis. I mean, it's like way, 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 way too fucking humid in here when you turn that bitch on. But I got a three-point message. Those are my first two points. Clean your intake. Humidify your air. But this is important. I'm being sincere today. Most importantly... And thank you, thank you for watching my channel. It's for your own good. I don't need to really thank you. It's for your own benefit. This is here to put things on the table so that me and you can make decisions that will have us reflect in the future and say it was very... agreeable because there's nothing more annoying than having the future arrive reflecting and realizing fuck man i'm the best at that i am the best at letting the future arrive and then saying fuck just like those cigars i started smoking i had a fucking inclination I'm going to regret that shit one day. So that's why I'm quitting. Um, just like, um, so my message is you have to really understand what you want to do. It helps you be comfortable with what you do now, your investment in the process. I'm putting this in the simplest way I could for you decisions man always invest in your future this bullshit talk about living for the moment life is short no it's not man 45 years is a long fucking time they have to deal with the consequences bro of stupid decisions life is long long as fuck life is very long and you're gonna live with whatever you decide which is why i make this video i want the first message is to understand and be comfortable and listen. That's the first lesson is to fucking listen to shit and realize this is good shit. I was the kind of person who never took information. I just did whatever I felt I wanted to do. Going off emotions and stuff. You got to be strategic. So first of all. You gotta have a good bullshit meter. Realize what's bullshit. Just like when you hire people, you have to really go for the gold, baby. You gotta go all out. There's a lot of fucking losers in the world. But let me tell you one thing that I have found because today is the future. The future is here. It arrived. Now I'm in the future. I'm 45. I never even dreamed I would know what it was like to be 45. If you would have asked me, gee, man, what are you going to do when you're 45? I don't, even, I don't even know what to say to you. I'm fucking here. God bless my life. God bless your life. But the point is, man, this is my second point. The first point was you have to... To fucking understand there's consequences for things you do. That's why every day is a big fucking deal. 
Every day is a chance to do something good for yourself for the future. I made numerous mistakes and I'm tr and I'm doing things now that I that I know and believe I'm going to like the outcome. <sighs> so here's my second revelation, dude. You know, when I was very young, very young under my mother, you know, she gave me a, a template and a formula. And it was a fucking good one, too. When I was young, quite young, under my mother, she gave me a formula and a template. She gave me the boundaries and the rules. And she said, this is what you do. You will be happy. I know what they are. 38 years later, whatever. But you know what I found now here at 45? I entered the big-ass fucking world full of a whole slew of different agendas, man. And along the way, I realized, I thought, you know, I wanted to be a part or participate or accept all these things that weren't a part of my mother's formula. And now I, I find myself going right back to my grandmother's and my mother's formula because I feel comfortable with it. As an example, I want to tell you guys that what I come to come to come what I've come to abide by this thing here where I'm telling you is, is that it's okay to not participate and shit that don't work for you, you know. I'm gonna be perfectly. I'm gonna be frank with you. I'm. I'm no longer participating in the black culture. I don't want nothing to do with the black culture. I don't want to agree with it. I don't want to participate. I don't want. I, amazingly enough, I thought I had to know. I don't have no black people around me, dude. I, I gotta say that's probably one of my greatest accomplishments <clears throat> is having no black people near me <laughs> i'm not lying dude this is awesome i thought my life would be better without blacks and it is i don't know what to say i when i was near blacks i said to myself you know if i could get rid of these black people things would be better for me i did that and now i'll say that was right for me, just for me, because the point is, <clears throat> we don't have to embrace things that we don't want to embrace. <clears throat> and I want to revalue the simple life. You know, the simple life is a good life, dude. Just quit trying to do shit that you don't want to do, man. Just be happy with a tomato a good night's sleep and sticking your dick in some twat. It's pretty fucking good, dude. It's much more peaceful. All I wanted was some fucking peace. All I wanted was some peace, dude. And I come to say, I don't feel required to participate in none of your bullshit, bro. Stupid. It's all a matter of feeling comfortable, dude. That's the point. We're done. Hope you enjoyed that. The point is, for you, yourself, for me, people need to separate. It's simple. To stop the hate, you must separate. People need to separate. Quit trying to go crazy. And just make and just, just plan your shit out. Because the last thing you want to do is make mistakes and have regrets and realize, damn, that was fucked up. It's just like with women, dude. I'm not going to put pussy and sex above my mental peace, dude. I'm not going to endure a shitty woman, shitty kids at the cost of going crazy. People need to understand the simple life, at least for a little while, is good. Peace and quiet. Go out in the country. Don't have no fucking neighbors watching you, knowing, thinking. You want to be unknown. I would recommend to you, and we're done. You, me, 
you don't want nobody to know that you exist. That's the best thing I can tell you. I don't want, the more people that don't know I exist, the better off. Because I don't want nobody fucking coming down forming opinions about me. I don't want to have to think about what you think of me. So don't even know I exist. Go take your hatred and go go find somebody else to hate, buddy. The less people that know I exist, the better peace. All I need is a tomato and, and, and uh, sex, dude. Tomato and sex. I want a tomato. I want a tomato and some beans. And a good night's sleep. And a nice woman around here. But she, she she's expendable too. Just a little just a little tip of the day, bro. Just you, it's about winning, bro. That's it. That's all I have to tell you.